What's up guys? Kevin here, Project X.1. Little tutorial for you guys. So I was in a little mishap a few months back. And now still, but I'm getting the little knowledge from school and everything. So basically I'm going to explain to you guys how to check your gear ratio to compensate for your new tire size. I have a third generation Explorer, 2004 4.0. The front gear ratio is 355, the rear gear ratio is 373, running on Dana 28. And uh, basically it's a very small axle, I know it shouldn't be um, handling about 37 inch tires. But uh, 35 inch is alright, but it's pushing it, 37 inch you gotta re-gear and everything. So basically right now what I'm running is a 32 inch um, Goodyear Wrangler. That's technically a stock, I can still run it on stock gearing up to 35. The reason why I want to make this video is because I was lost, and maybe you guys are lost too. I want to be running a 37 inch uh, Goodyear Wrangler or maybe a BF Goodridge. Uh, I think the. It's, it's the Mud Series. I forgot the name of it. Sorry about that. But basically, I want to run 37s. I do have to re gear it. Because if you don't re gear it, you will blow out your um, transmission. You will overheat your torque converter if you have an automatic. I have an automatic. You will do a lot of damage, your fuel mileage will be shit, your highway miles will be garbage, everything. So basically, I'm going to show you guys how to calculate the new gear ratio for the 37 inch tires. From 31 to 35, you don't touch it, you don't have to touch it. You could touch it for better performance, but a lot of people say you don't. But I'm looking into 37s, I'm still doing a lot of research because it's going to be a lot of money gonna be invested in this so basically I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right don't wanna ruin my truck so 37 inch is my next up for next year 2017 that's my goal I'm doing all my research doing all my homework make sure the gearing and everything is right so that's what it is I'm only gonna be changing if I do get 37's the rear gears for one reason because my truck's mostly in two wheel drive and if I'm on the trails I use two wheel drive most of the time anyways because I don't go ham unless I really have to go in four low, but that really doesn't bother me. So, no further ado, let's get to the video. And I hope this helped you guys. If not, please write down in the description what I said wrong and correct me because I'm willing to learn. All right, guys, thank you for watching and enjoy the video. All right, guys, so I got mixed up because my bird was confusing me. So, basically, this is going to be your ring gear, this is going to be your pinion gear. This gear right here is where all the power and um, mechanical power comes from your transmission. Goes through the drive line, goes in here from the rear of the differential, enters in, this spins onto your ring gear. So basically here you have teats and over here you have teats. Say over here you have 11 teeth, right? And over here you have 27 teeth. So now, to find the gear ratio of this setup right here, you have to do 27 divided by 11, you're going to get 245, roughly estimated to 250, and that's your gear ratio from the factory. Hope you guys can see this. And basically, on this gear ratio, you're running a 29 inch tire, that's straight from the factory, your fuel mileage is going to work perfect, your transmission is going to shift perfectly, your overdrive is going to kick in perfectly, 4th and 5th gear if you have an auto, um, automatic transmission. So this right here is not really the same numbers for my 3rd generation Explorer, but this is just the way how you check your gear ratio from factory. So your pinion gear has 11 teeth, your ring gear has 27 teeth. You divide 27 over 11, you get 202 it's going to be in decimals, I'm sorry about that, 245, you roughly estimate it to 250, then that's going to be your gear ratio. Now that's going to be 29 inches wheel diameter of the tire that comes with the vehicle from the factory. I want to run 37 inch tires. So now, what I do to, do, um, to get that, I have to do 37 inch but that's the mud tires that I want to run multiply it 
by 250 two, um, decimal point 50 so then 2.50 you're gonna get 3 no you're gonna get 92.5 sorry about that now with that you divide it by 29 reason why 29 is because that's your stock factory tire size you're gonna divide it from the new factory the new tire size which is a uh, 37 inch multiplied by the original gear ratio divide 92.5 over 29 which is the original tire from factory you should get 318 3 dot 18 roughly estimated to 3.20 that's going to be your new gear ratio for the 37 inch tires so that's the way you could check your gear ratio that's the correct way 37 inch I'm gonna have to run 320 okay so this is just going to be for any truck. This works for Jeeps, works for Fords, works for Chevy, works for Dodge, works for anything to check your gear ratio. So this is going to be my aftermarket tire gear ratio for the 37 inch. So with this gear ratio, you're honestly making everything back to normal. Your shift points are going to be okay. Your overdrive is going to be okay. Your fuel mileage should be okay. And you're not burning out your um, gears faster. You're not burning out your torque converter because you're overheating it with the wrong gear size, with the wrong tire size. So now everything's working fine. That's just for any truck. Now for me, I'm going to do the rear gear ratio for my truck, which I believe is a 373 on Dana 28. So... I checked on my rear differential and that's the number I saw. You could check it on your rear differential, it has like a tag and it says your gear ratio on it. I'll show you guys how to um, check it in a different video. So basically what I want to do is 373. Then because um, I want to multiply that by 37 inch which is the tire you should get. You're going to get 138. Then I have a from factory the vehicle came with a 29 inch tire diameter divide that by 29 you should get 4.75 4.75 roughly estimated to 480 and there you go 480 is going to be my new gear ratio to compensate for my 37 inch wheel diameter my tire diameter so that's the way you calculate your gear ratio to compensate for your new tire size. So I hope that video helped you guys out. I know it wasn't really descriptive, but that's how I know how to calculate it, how to check it with the signs and everything behind it. There's a lot more to it, but that's the most simplest way I could explain it to you guys. And for me, now I'm going to have to look for gears 4.80 to compensate for 37 inch. So I'm going to have to look all over the forums to see if they actually make um, I think Yukon, Yukon gears um, 4.80 if I'm going to change the gear I might as well put lockers on it I'm not sure maybe a lunchbox locker so keep in touch guys keep watching my videos I'm doing more research on it if it's going to be a lot of money more maybe more than $300 for gears and everything I'm not going to be doing 37 inch I'm sorry guys I'm going to have to go with 35s because I don't feel like spending so much money behind um, gears and lockers just for the looks and maybe once or twice of wheeling so i'm gonna let you guys know about that thank you for watching subscribe and like if i said anything wrong please put it down in the description i want to learn more about this if i said anything wrong again write it down there subscribe and like please share it to your friends share this video and to all you guys who like jeeps who likes fords who likes chevy who likes dodge murica all right guys Peace out. Project X.1 signing off. Later, guys.